<laughs> Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. Try to be tasty. Sometimes it works. Can we just make it easy today? Can we just have like an easy day? Because I could really use it. Another thing I could really use is vegetables. I need to eat more vegetables. I buy vegetables, but then when it comes to cooking vegetables, I don't cook them, then they go bad. How do I fix this? How do I have more energy? How do I get the nutrients I need? All these questions I have, I need something easy. Just give me something easy. Can it be easy? So I have this zucchini left over in my fridge. I bought it. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, I have to cook that. Why? Just like that. Why? I'm a joy to live with. Anyway, so I found this recipe for zucchini corn fritters with jalapeno cream sauce. What really got me is the jalapeno cream sauce. I really want to try that, but also zucchini. It uses my zucchini that I need to make, but in a more, much more fun way than just making it just on its own. I don't want to. You don't want to. Want to. So I thought we'd make this. It seems easy. I don't know if it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's make this dish. Please be easy. Please. I just want an easy day. Step one. We're going to start with the jalapeno cream sauce because it needs to be refrigerated for an hour before serving with our fritters. So we're going to do that first. We're already off to a bad start because you need an immersion blender with this recipe and I don't have one. So I'm going to try to do it in my regular blender, my favorite blender, my Vitamix. Can it be easy though? We don't know. Hopefully yes. So we're just going to take all these ingredients and we're going to put them in our blender. Hopefully you have a blender. If not, this is not easy for you. I'm so sorry. Not going to be an easy day. Have a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil, sunflower oil, whatever you got. Oh, that's too much. Canola use half a cup. We don't care. Good enough. A fourth a cup unsweetened milk. I'm using almond milk. Two tablespoons. Tablespoons? <laughs> Sure. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. That's when a teaspoon is on your table. What is it then? It's a tablespoon. The Tibler elves made it. One tablespoon pickled jalapeno peppers. Help, I need this to be easy now, pe peppers. Help, I need help now. This is an opening. Ugh. It's about five or six of these. We'll do six. One tablespoon. One garlic clove or five. A half a teaspoon ground mustard. Half a teaspoon sea salt. Easy salt. And half a teaspoon black ground pepper. I don't want to measure. Sure. And we're just gonna blend it up until it's thick. Hopefully. T-H-I-C-C. -C. Is that right? Is this easy? It doesn't smell great, but we'll see what happens. We've gotta put it in the refrigerator for an hour now. Okay, well that seems pretty easy so far, but kind of like suspicious easy. Really hope that I didn't fuck that up somehow. Anyway, moving on. So we're gonna take our zucchini and we're going to put it in a strainer. Is this a strainer? I think so. Is that a different word for colander? And we're gonna coat it with one fourth teaspoon of sea salt and let it sit there for 10 minutes. Okay, okay. Got my sea salt. Oh, that's not a quarter teaspoon. What are you trying to do? Sabotage me? Get out of here, half teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon, you're up. There we go. Okay, we're gonna coat it. So I'm gonna guess that we kind of mix it in there. Yeah, yes bitch. Yes, I'm so sorry, you're not a bitch. That was like an encouraging bitch, you know what I mean? It's different. All right, see you in 10 minutes. And by the way, the recipe calls for shredded zucchini. I spiralized the zucchini and then cut it up. Hopefully it's the same. I just want this to be easy. So now it's been 10 minutes with the salt and our zucchini. And what we're gonna do is squeeze the excess water out with a paper towel. Cause it's too much. It's just so extra. We don't need all that water. This water is getting in our way of us having a good old dry time. Oh my gosh, there's so much water. Ugh. When your zucchini's too wet. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Why is this so hard? Stop being so hard. It doesn't need to be hard. Difficulty is a choice. What if that was the thing that was real? That we could just like choose it to not be hard? Hey, don't be hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Why would she? She's not interested in him. Okay, I think that's about as dry as I'm gonna get it. It doesn't feel that dry to me, but I don't wanna do this anymore. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is good. It's all good. Now we're gonna grab a large mixing bowl and we're gonna break up now our drier zucchini into it. Get in there. A zucchini need you to cooperate. You know what I'm saying? Zucchini need it. A zucchini need it. We're killing it today. And to our bowl, we are going to add two cups of corn that was frozen and that had been thawed and that has been drained. High maintenance corn, coming through. Whoa. A fourth cup of finely minced shallot. I don't know if I really did a good job finely mincing, but too late now, fourth a cup in the bowl. 
did it, do it. A half a cup of all purpose flour. I don't need you to be all purpose, I just need your purpose to be for this to work, please flour. Sometimes it feels like you have too much going on and I just don't want to pressure our flour like that. It's not the way I do it in this house. Half a cup, half a cup of fine cornmeal. I didn't have fine cornmeal, nor, nor could I find it at the store. So I took my regular cornmeal, I blended it in my high powered blender and you know what? We could leave the cornmeal alone now cause it's fine. We're all fine. We're all fine. Stop asking us. One tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Hello good friend. Welcome back into my life. Another fourth teaspoon of sea salt. Huh, what a star of this recipe, eh? A? Who am I? I don't know. I'm channeling my Canadian hot for food friends. A! Fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Ground black pepper. Fourth teaspoon of smoked paprika and a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're just gonna stir this to combine. I just want this to be easy. Look at that. What a nice easy recipe. And once all our vegetables are evenly coated, we're gonna add a fourth a cup of milk to make our batter nice and thick. Yeah. Thick is in right now. We are feeling it. Beyonce, Nicki Minaj who? Kim Kardashian West? Look how thick this is. This is some real thickness. Are we done doing this now? I'm ready to be done. Next comes the fun part. We're gonna take either a non-stick pan or a cast iron skillet. I'm taking a cast iron skillet because I'm fancy like that. And because I just found this after a long time of not using it. And I'm like, hey, you need love. Everybody needs some today. And we're gonna heat this on medium heat. Excuse me, excuse me. We need some love, oven. Um, so, what, what are you? Oh, I almost burned my eyelashes off, wow. Okay, enough of that fun. Medium heat, there we go. We're gonna put two tablespoons of our canola oil. Then we're gonna take our fourth a cup and we're gonna make our fritters with it. We're gonna scoop out a fourth a cup of our batter and then we're just gonna mold them with our hands, get them just all into our rings. The rings that you're wearing, don't take them off. Just get them all in there. Yeah, bitch, you're not a bitch. I'm so sorry, it's not personal. And we're gonna Fry them. We're gonna fry about two to three fritters per pan. Well, I mean, there's only one pan, but two to three fritters are there. Whoa, this is harder to mold than I thought. And we're gonna do them for about two minutes on each side or until they turn golden brown. Hey, stop falling apart. This is not how I wanted it to be. But about two minutes on this side. I'm gonna try to flip them. I really just want this to be easy. Hopefully it's easy. Hopefully we can have it be easy. Are we able to have an easy time, fellas? Ladies, what are you? We don't care. Oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. We did it, we did it. It's all good. We did one. How about you? Oh, nice, you're nicer. How about you? Oh yeah, thank you for not burning me. It was just you, you little bitch. And I do mean it this time. I do mean it, I meant it. Two more minutes on that side. Okay, these are about finished and um, my arm is very burned from being splattered on, but that's fine. We like it, it's fun, we like it. I'm gonna take these off out of the oil now and I'm gonna put them on this plate with a paper towel to remove excess oil. Very cool, very nice, thank you. Oh my god, stop attacking me, please. I feel very violated, actually. I feel uncomfortable. I feel unsafe in this working environment. And we're just gonna do that with the rest of this batter until it's all done. I'll see you then. Cheers. And look at our plate of delicious corn and zucchini fried vegetables. Fried vegetables. We made fried vegetables. Look at them. It's also been about exactly an hour since we put our jalapeno cream sauce in the fridge, so that should be ready. Was this easy? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it was. Hey, how how about that? Simple. A zucchini needed that. Yeah, I already used it. No, I don't care. It's easy today. I guess what's left is like, let's see if they're tasty. Hopefully they are. That is the final test. Because if it was easy and not tasty, then what do we have? Do we really have food? Was it really easy? Do you know? You don't have to answer that. Let's see what's tasty. Oh, damn. Look at those fritters. Frit, yeah. Also, look at our jalapeno cream sauce. Look at this looks cute. Aesthetically, A plus. Taste wise, we'll see. TBD. We got some zucchini corn fritters with a jalapeno cream sauce. It's yeah. got jalapenos in it? Yeah, it does. That's tight. Are they fresh? No. Even better. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do here. That's so interesting. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really good. I thought we tried something different. Yeah, it's very different. Fried vegetables. It's kind of like cornbread, but it tastes healthier, right? I like cornbread. Yeah, it's like, no, it's really bomb. Yeah? How's yeah. the sauce? It's really good. It makes it for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's great. Jalapeno, yeah. Get it? Hey, hell. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah? Absolutely, absolutely delicious. beautiful. Delicious. Delicious. 
He attacks you with it though. You gotta attack me with delicious. Mmm, mmm, that's good. Right? I was not expecting that cream sauce to be as good as it is. Yeah, it, it like is, elevates everything so much. It really compliments. It compliments the flavor. Hey, nice. Yeah? Delicious, beautiful, beautiful. Thanks, Tiny Tim. Yeah, it's really dang good. That is so good. I would love to have it with like 17 different dipping sauces. Yeah, but this jalapeno cream sauce is really good. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it goes so well together. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. Do we have a bunch of them or? It is like, that? it is like cornbread, but more the corn than the bread. Yeah, exactly. Like healthy, like diet cornbread. Yeah. They call it diet cornbread. <laughs> diet cornbread. But it has its own like flavor. Yeah. It's not just cornbready. It's got more flavor than that. It's more than that. That is so good. Yeah. I could eat like 10 of these. I probably shouldn't, but I could. I could easily eat 10 of them. That's a really easy way to get more vegetables. Although there was really only one vegetable in it besides corn. But hey, it's healthy, right? I mean, is it? That's a lot of corn. That means it's healthy. Yeah, exactly. No, it was cool. We fried it and everything. It's uh, all healthy. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Definitely make these. They're really, really good. All I wanted was something easy that um, uses most of the stuff that I have already in my kitchen. And this did the trick. This was really, really good. Um, Joe's hiding. Oh, shit. Also, check out Husper Foods channel. They made this uh, recipe. Lauren Toyota. She's awesome. So check it out. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And I'll, I will see you next time. Maybe it'll be harder next time. We went real easy today in a way that I'm still suspicious about. I'm kind of like, did I do it? Did I really do it? Yeah, you did it. Kind of feels like too easy. Well, why don't you set yourself up? Go figure. Up. Jeez. Go, go figure. I'll see you next time. Bye.